hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to install a bald cap so for this video i am using the latest bald cap there are different kinds of bald cap we have the silicone bald cap we have the bald cap made out of cap plastic but for this video i'm using a latest bald cap from sfx smart on instagram so we need to start off by cutting out the place where our ear is meant to be and doing this you have to be really really careful so you don't hurt yourself So once that is done, we're going to use an adhesive. For, for this video, I started off using a spirit gum. I got it from SFS Smart on Instagram as well. I started using off the spirit gum, but towards the end, I realized that it wasn't sticking as I would love it to stick. So I decided to opt for first aid adhesive and also from SFX Smart. The Prozade, from what I figured, holds latex appliances, latex prosthetics, and other forms of prosthetics. It holds it stronger than the spirit gum, but both of them are really good adhesives. Here's me applying the Prozade. So for the back, gently cut out the edges of the latest bolt cap, cut out the places where you don't need. So for this one, I'm cutting out the parts that are coming out at the edge, just so I can stick it properly at the back. So please be careful while you're doing this. You can call for help if you need someone to help you. If you're not a professional, please call someone to help so you don't hurt yourself. And also tell the person to help you measure your back so that you don't make mistakes as well. So once the cotton is done, you lay it properly at your back to be sure it's perfect. Next thing you want to do is apply your Prezade adhesive and stick it down. So for this part, once your latex is properly installed, you need to apply your liquid latex and you do this to erase the edges. You know, once you apply your Bold cap sometimes you go have this weird line so to take it off you need to apply your liquid latex to cover it up and once you're done with that use a loose powder to pat it and remove the sticky effect the latex has on your bold cap so for this step I went in with a very dark shade like two shades darker than me to cover the edges and then I went in with an undertone for this undertone I am using a brown and a red undertone
so once i'm done i'll now go in with my own perfect shade of foundation to cover the undertone i used Please guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed i have tones and tones and tones and tones and tones of sfx makeup tutorials and you can always 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 drop a comment in the comment section telling you what you want me to film and i'm going to do it so we have our flawless application if you can't see the back i couldn't see the back so well so I, and i had no one to help me out so i focused mainly on the front so to show you guys how to do it properly so your foundation should be your perfect shade and focus mainly on those edges so that you can you know have a very flawless finish So once that is done, you apply your powder, you apply your shade of powder. And yeah, you guys, I hope you're learning and I hope you've learned one or two. Please don't forget to share this, share this, share this, share this. More videos are coming and don't forget to subscribe as well. So once you're done, you add your finishing. Right here, I'm just applying powder over my face to have like an even look. And once that is done, yeah, voila, here's the final look. I hope you like. Please see you in my next video. Bye.